On April 22, Camaro, 27, a college classmate of the eldest daughter of the Akashino family, Mako, 27, who was engaged to be married, released a document explaining her mother's financial troubles for the first time. What will happen to the relationships between Mako and K? Let's take a look at the full text of the document released by K from NHK's news site. I would like to thank you for your warm support. I am very sorry to have caused you concern since the year before last regarding the past relationships between my mother, Kamaro, and her former fiancé. I am aware that there have been many reports about this matter, and I am very sorry that I have not been able to give a clear explanation about this issue, which has caused a lot of trouble for many people. I would like to explain to you on behalf of my mother about my relationship with my ex-fiancé, and this is the way I have decided to do it. From NHK, when something inconvenient is reported, the worst thing you can do is to run away. This is because it gives the impression that you are admitting that you are at fault. If she had immediately responded to the news when it came out, the wound would not have spread so far. However, as a result of placing the highest priority on consideration for Lady Mako and the Imperial family, he was unable to respond even if he wanted to. The fact that Mr. Comero has now come forward with a counter-argument can be thought of as a sign that he no longer needs to take care of Lady Mako and the Imperial family, which is very worrying. The document only mentions those who are concerned about us, but there is no mention of Mako or the Imperial family at all. I guess Krilly wanted to protect his mother, who had taken great pains to raise him, from the concentrated fire of the media. My mother and her former fiancé had gotten engaged in September 2010 and were preparing to start their married life. I was happy to hear about my mother's remarriage, and I myself became very close to my ex-fiancé. During the engagement period, I also received financial support from my ex-fiancé. At that time, my mother and I were already family with my ex-fiancé, and we were very grateful for his kindness. In September 2012, my ex-fiancé made a request to my mother to terminate the engagement. My mother was exhausted because the request was sudden and unilateral, and she was not given a clear explanation as to why she wanted to end the engagement, but in the end, she understood that the ex-fiancé's feelings would not change and accepted the request. At that time, I told her that I would like to settle the support that my mother received during the engagement period, original text, and my ex-fiancé gave me a clear explanation that she did not intend to have it returned. The two of them confirmed that all financial issues, including those in terms of support and alimony, had been resolved. In fact, for a while after the engagement was dissolved, my mother and I were not asked to return any money by my ex-fiancé. However, around August 2013, about a year after the engagement was dissolved, my mother received a letter from her ex-fiancé asking her to repay the expenses she incurred during the time they were dating. Surprised by the sudden demand, which was against the confirmation at the time of the termination of the engagement, my mother consulted a specialist for advice and met with the ex-fiancé directly to inform him that she could not comply with the request and the reason for it. 
After hearing my mother's story, my ex-fiancé responded that I would also consult with a specialist and if there was anything else, I would contact him from here, but I never heard from him. After that, I sometimes ran into my ex-fiancé, who lived in the neighborhood, around my house, but the topic of money never came up. My mother's past relationship with her ex-fiancé is as described above. Although many reports say that there are still some debt problems, my mother and I have always understood that the support from my ex-fiancé was a matter that had already been resolved because of this history. For this reason, my mother and I were very confused when what we believed to be a comment from my ex-fiancé was reported every day since December of 2009. My mother and I were very confused because we could not gauge the intentions of the ex-fiancé. According to the Asahi Shimbun, the ex-fiancé's statement is as follows. According to the Asahi Shimbun, the ex-fiancé's statement is as follows. During the engagement period, at the request of Miss Kamaru's mother, I provided support for living expenses and over 4 million yen for college expenses, study abroad and announcing school. The reason I asked to end the engagement is because the requests for financial support became a regular occurrence and made life difficult for me. When the engagement was terminated, Kamaru's mother offered to repay the money, saying, I can only pay you back about 10,000 yen each month, but he refused, saying, that's too little, please reconsider. She refused. I don't want you to pay for my meals and gifts during our relationship. I thought I lent her money for living expenses and school fees. I'm not going to change my mind about wanting you to pay me back. From the Asahi Shimbun, the man's ex fiancé claims that he provided more than 4 million yen in support to while he was engaged to his mother. There is no dispute that it was the man who proposed the dissolution of the engagement. It also seems to be true that there was financial support that could have led to a civil dispute. Unlike in the past, it is very difficult for young people to go to college these days. According to the Japan Finance Corporation's survey on the burden of education costs, the total cost of attending school from high school to university graduation is over 9.35 million yen. The average annual amount of money sent home for lodging is 930,000 yen. In terms of how they raise money for education, 30% of respondents said they cut back on non-education expenses. As for how they finance their education, 30% of the respondents said they cut back on non-education expenses, 23% on savings and insurance, 19% on part-time jobs, and 19% on scholarships. Also studied abroad and attended an answer school, so the cost of her education must have been considerable. However, in these competitive times, we can hardly blame for trying to improve his career. In Japan, it is customary to give a betrothal gift at the time of engagement. Under the law, it is considered a gift for the purpose of a future marriage, and in many cases, the money is returned if the marriage does not take place. In cases like smothers, there may be a difference of opinion as to whether the financial support is a loan or a gift. If it is considered a gift based on the premise of a future marriage, it may be interpreted that the man has unilaterally broken off the engagement and does not have to return the money. Legally speaking, if the man wants his money back, 
he can simply sue Smother in a civil court. However, even if the man wins the case, the mother may not have the ability to repay the money. It appears that neither nor his mother is financially well off. However, my mother and I are still grateful for the support we received from her ex-fiancé, and we will try to gain his understanding in the future. I am currently having the opportunity to study in the United States. I am grateful to many people for their support. I am determined to make every effort to satisfy those who are concerned about me, and I would be grateful if you would warmly watch over me. January 22, 1991 Camaro, from NHK, the main reason why is being criticized is because he is not financially independent. But is it so reprehensible that neither her mother nor Kha has the financial ability to pay back 4 million yen immediately? The maximum amount of the royal family's expenses that will be paid when Mako marries Kha and leaves the royal family is 153 million yen. Public opinion has become very critical of the possibility that the payment to the man will be made from this amount. He is currently studying at Fordham University School of Law in the United States. It is so difficult to succeed as a lawyer in the US that there is a joke that the odds are the same for a sperm to reach an egg. Quill have to be licensed to practice law in Japan and the US in order to have a future. The road of hardship will continue for the time being. The most important point is whether or not Mako can believe in Kha's future. In my opinion, Kha's a boy. Isn't the Cinderella boy who represents the average Japanese family that is no longer so affluent? Cinderellas are usually underprivileged and are always bullied. I wonder how many people in Japan today can say that their future is secure. Kha is a positive and hard-working person, so she will surely acquire enough financial strength to pay off the debt of about 4 million yen on behalf of her mother. In the scandal-ridden British royal family, recently, His Royal Highness Prince Philip, 97, the husband of Queen Elizabeth, had a traffic accident while driving his Land Rover alone and the injured woman is now seeking criminal responsibility. It is natural for people to make mistakes because they are human. The question is how to deal with them. In my opinion, the marriage between Mako and Kha's a matter between the two of them, and the financial issues between Kha's mother and her ex-fiancé are irrelevant. When Prince Henry and Meghan, the former popular American actress, got married, a scandal was written about Meghan's father's side, but the British royal family protected Meghan. The lesson learned by the British royal family after the double infidelity and divorce of former Crown Princess Diana, and her tragic death in a car accident, is that if you don't, Put the feelings of two people who love each other first, the problem will become even bigger. I feel that Queen Elizabeth is emphasizing the logic of inclusion rather than exclusion. Marriage is ultimately, a decision to be made by the two of you, Mako and The biggest problem is that the Japanese media is out to destroy one young man. I think the most important thing now is to quietly watch over Kha's efforts to create a future for himself. I believe that the future of Japan will be brighter if Mako and overcome their difficulties and get married, but what do you think?